What's up everyone, my name is Cinekill and welcome back to Breath of Fire. Previously we made it to Bleak, which was a very bleakish town. We uh, traded the gold bar that we received from Aria and got the icicle that will allow us to proceed through the Aria, or what is this cave? I forget what this cave is called. Into the desert basically, where we will find our next party member hopefully. Because we need somebody that will unlock a lock to a door. So let's try to see if we can figure that out then, shall we? And of course, all the enemies are still the same. Wish we just run. Hey, we can run. Nice, let's just run. <laughs> I am kind of tired of those enemies, if I'm being completely honest. Let's run. Nope, that's auto battle. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Oops. It's okay though. I mean, you know, I'll just let them attack. I mean, it should take them down fairly simple. Like, it takes like, what, three turns or so? Oh, here. Actually, we're out of it now. Well, I mean, at this point, might as well continue the auto battle. But anyways, let's go ahead and get, uh, talk about what's coming up with this episode today. We're actually going to get to show off our very first dragon power of the entire game. It's going to be epic, because we're going to have to use it during a boss fight. So, it's actually very required for the boss fight. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll make it. We should make it pretty quickly. As long as we can make it through this damn cave quickly. Oh no, not these things again. I actually do not like these things. Um, yep, just E key away. Do everything we're supposed to do. Oh yeah. Great paralysis. Great curse. Mm-hmm. Great paralysis. Oh joy. Yep. This is what I mean by these things can just eat our lunches. Oh, Ryu's back up too. Nice. They can just par paralyze you and then stun lock you, and it's so annoying. Like, they just don't do very much damage, but if they paralyze all three of you, it sucks. Smack that one, that one's down. Smacking that one, that one's down. Alright. And if you already noticed, our E key is starting to become very outdated now at this point, so... Yeah, even Nina's starting to almost do enough damage to keep up with it. While yes, 30 damage on everybody is great, it's starting to kind of lose its effectiveness. Um, like, I probably will not be using it as much as we continue forward with this game. Um, there will be some fights I might use it for just to get that extra bit of damage in on all the enemies, but for the most part, we're probably going to stop using it here pretty soon. I know, sad times. Like. We've had it since the very beginning of the game. It's it's helped us so much throughout the game, and yet we're gonna start throwing it away finally. We're not gonna throw it away away. It's a required item for the game, so you can't get rid of it. But yeah, we're just gonna stop using it here soon. Especially since we're about to get a really cool party member here soon. I mean, eventually. It's gonna take a little while before we get him. Because we have to go through this this area, we have to go through the desert, then we have to go through a dungeon in order to get the new uh, party member. So, definitely not this episode we'll get him. Probably maybe in like two or three episodes we'll get a new party member. I'm just gonna run! Tired of fighting those five. Bo uses the icicle and cool air moves in. Now we are officially in what's known as the desert, even though it looks very grassy. It's still the Oh, we have some brand new enemies! I love brand new enemies. Prickle! <laughs> Prickly cactus, aren't they? So, like I said, enemies are just gonna start getting harder. And this is where they're gonna start getting harder. Of course, 30 damage is still quite a bit, so. Of course, now we're only doing a little bit of damage, so. Hmm. Maybe we'll just keep using the E key for a while, because it's still doing a lot of damage where we need it, so. It's just I know eventually like we'll get we'll stop using it because we are gonna get a really cool party member way later in the game that does way better than the E key. <laughs> cool. Alright, now we are officially in the desert. Hello desert, and uh, oh wow, that was a already to a new enemy. Cactus. We have prickle and cactus. <laughs> I love how we got a Brand new enemy, and then another brand new enemy that's basically a reskin right after that. Okay, Cactus ha Cactus is the weaker version, so I'm okay with that. Although it has just about as much defense, it's still the weaker version. 
Dun. Oh, you know what? I can just auto battle this one because they should go down here pretty quick. Smack. 16. Yeah, unfortunately, Nina still is just not doing very much damage. Oh, I did not knock it down this turn. Eh. It's got, it's got like one HP left. Jeez. Like, we're not probably going to gain as many ex like levels as we were just because of the gold slimes are not here. Now we have another new enemy Scorps. Or just scorpions, I guess, basically. I mean, they are definitely looking very uh, creepy with the skull on their faces. Yeah. Not a big fan of these things, if I'm being honest. But, you know, it is an RPG. It, it makes sense why there's enemies like this. Just to, like, give it that more horror -esque type feel to it. That, like, the world is, like, an apocalyptic state right now. And you're trying to, like, save the world, basically. Let's go ahead and heal. <laughs> Here are you! Alright, perfect. I don't actually know where we're supposed to go. I know it's here in the desert, I just don't remember where. Another new enemy, it is Sand Claude. We'll just keep going south, I guess. Dang, this thing is huge. And it's another Scorp, so I think we can just auto-battle this one. Ah! I think we found it! <laughs> I wasn't, like, expecting to just find it randomly like that. Also like the fact that, the, like, the sand has, like, changed color. I believe it's because it's, like, starting to turn night in the game, which I'm okay with. Eh. Smack. A smack! Like, they're not dealing very much damage to us, so... Like, A damage is kind of, mm, you know, it is what it is. But all right, let's get into this little town. Yeah, you see that up there? We're not we're not worrying about that. Is this it? This is A-Red. This is what we want. Yay. There is nobody in here. <laughs> it's a very interesting looking place, isn't it? Hello. Welcome to the desert. Would you like to rest? I would like to rest. Yes, please. And that actually did not cost us anything, so hey, I'll take it. There's a dragon shrine right here if you actually need to save. I'm not going to use it just yet. But if you need to save, it is there. Let's go ahead and talk to, uh, or not talk to, let's go in here. Nobody's in here. Okay, sounds about right. Anything over? Okay, there is something over here to the left. I have a little, little tent looking thing over here. <laughs> Nobody's in here. Okay, everybody's just out and about then. Well, there is a big red tent here, so maybe this is important. Hello. The giant sandworm appears with every new moon. I'll give you the five if you destroy it, okay? When the sandworm appear, it eats our goats. There's a new moon tonight. Wait and you will see it. Okay. It's all in your hands now. Which means it's probably turned night, hasn't it? It has done that. Alright. Oh. I see something there. Sure, yep, we are completely healed up. Let's take care of it. This is a sandworm. As it says, it is sandworm. This boss is going to be very easy. I'm going to have bow defend. We're going to get to use our first ever dragon power, which is the thunder dragon. And Nina, I want you to fortify bow. There we go. And it's our Thunder Dragon. It actually looks really cool looking. And it only costs 8 AP to use it, so... I will use Bow to, like, put out some, like... Well... Yeah, I, I will use Bow to, like, throw out some damage as well, but check this. I, I just want you to check out what he does. Also, I'm gonna attack up as well on... I wish I could hit everybody with that. Alright, Ryu. Show us your stuff here in a second. 130 damage. Yeah, so we're gonna have Bo kind of help out here with some attacking. Uh, its physical defense is way too high, so we're just gonna be using like the spells and whatnot to take care of it. But you know what? I'm gonna E key as well just to see if this will do any damage. 30 damage. 
80 or 25 damage. Ew. 130. I think I used the wrong one, didn't I? I sure did. I meant to use Fry. <laughs> Whoops. And I think the cure still works on Ryu, but of course I'm going to cure at Nina, so. Eh, 12 damage. Thunderbolt, 80 damage. Thunderbolt, 130 damage. <laughs> So yeah, actually, you know what? Well, here, I'll tell you what. Let's use Fry real quick, and then I'll use another physical attack. Because I want to actually show you about how much damage you would do if you're just physically attacking it. So we'll, we'll do that here in a second, and I'll show you. Actually, not taking very much damage, are we? Look at this. It's, it's very, very easy. And so at this point, yes, Ryu can solo basically the rest of the game if he wanted to. But we're not going to. What would be the fun in that, right? Eh... Key for a little bit more damage. Look at this. Oh, 47. Actually, it's not very bad. But it's it's gonna take a while to defeat him if we just keep doing it that way. Whereas we'll just use the Thunder Dragon and just destroy his face. I mean 30 damage really is not very much either, but eh. Eh. Boom. Sandworm got up. So now we are on second wind, which means things can get mildly get a little tougher, but we're not all that worried about it. I kinda wish... I kinda wish Nina had a better skill. 21 damage, okay. Eh. Eh. Ah. <laughs> Literally, this is the entire fight. <laughs> we're, we're pretty much done at this point, like... I'm just letting the other ones, like, deal- he help out with some damage values. Just to, like, maybe take them down a little bit quicker. But yeah. Oh! We win! We did it! Yay! Thank you very much! Please take this fife as a gift of our gratitude! The fife is in the treasure box. Can I ask treasure box now? Oops. Yeah, you take the fife. Alright. And yes, the Thunder Dragon only took eight- was it 8 or was it 12? Maybe it was 12 AP in order to use. So, yeah. So, the later uh, Dragon Powers that we get will require a lot more AP. And, but they are a lot stronger, too. Let's go ahead and rest up before we head into our dungeon. So, we're going to go a little bit more to the south and the east. This is where we need to go right here. Step on the tile. That did not do what it was supposed to do. What? I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm very dumb. I forgot to hit the A button to activate the, the five. <laughs> Whoops. But yay, we're in our dungeon now. Yay! How stupid am I? <laughs> so, this can be a little interesting of a dungeon. Uh, you're still gonna have roughly- I'm just gonna run. I hate those things. So, you're gonna see a lot more just the normal enemies that we've already seen. But we have to take the long ways around because we don't have a party member that can open doors yet. And look at this, now the mage is going to start appearing. Yay. And yeah, pretty much. This is literally the entire dungeon at this point. We're just going to be kind of going around trying to figure out how to get through the, the platforms and whatnot. And then there are some treasure chests in here and they all are, they are all trapped. So... There may, you may think it's not quite worth it, but it's worth it. And we can heal a lot of the status effects. So it's not like, it's not like it's a bad thing, okay? But first we have to get to those stairs right there. If we can ever get to those stairs, we'll be fine then. Of course, we've got Ryu now in the front of the party, which I'm okay with. Also, is Nina in the front or is she in the back? I can't actually tell. It's very hard to tell if Nina's in the back. Let me just do this real quick. Yeah, she's in the back. Okay. It looked like she wasn't at first, and I was like, uh... So, got a little iffy there. <clears throat> Into the stairs. All right. So, this is it. You kind of just... Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that part. Mm-hmm. There's the stairs. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try for this chest. 
Okay, we got this one. It's a trap of toxin, reused, poisoned. But we take an herb, so... And of course, we have Nina that can just heal that really easily, so... There we go. Our first chest is done. Alright, let's try this way. Hmm. Yeah. Flies. Okay, I can just auto-battle these things. <clears throat> let's try around this way. Um... Okay, cool. Grab this one. Triggered a dark mist. Re loses AP. Did he just lose all of his AP? He lost some of it. He didn't lose all of it, though. Okay. Uh, we do have a way to restore that, right? Let's see. That's HP. AP. Okay. We have acorns. Okay. Let's use an acorn to get his uh, AP back up. There we oh, wow. That's only 20? Wow. I didn't realize it was only 20. Dang. Okay. Let's go this way into a fight. I'm trying to avoid the traps, at least where I think they may be. Mm. Okay, good. There we go. Uh, a curse, or you're cursed. Iron shield, which I don't remember if that's any better than what we've got or not. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Before we do that, let's actually cure the curse just in case. There we go. Nina is very useful here. All right, let's see. Iron shield is worse. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Let's go up and around now. We're going to try and get all the chests out of here just to be on the safer side. Just because, like, I think there's some really good items in here. Uh, not Iki. I don't know why I'm not trying to do Iki. I mean, 30 damage is still 30 damage to everything. That's not terrible. It's just... It starts to get a little bit outdated as the game goes along. Oh. Oh, I got this chest. Nice. This one was easy. Okay, this chest is a trap of fire. Ooh, 50 points of damage. A dream ring, I think is what that said? Do I have a way to, like, view it? Okay, wait. I can do it this way. Nope, that's not what. There we go. Defense power ring, etc. Who can equip this? So what does that do? Does that do anything? I don't think that does anything. Well, let's let's just equip it to you then, I guess, for now. I mean, maybe it's useful for something later. I don't know. It could be. I, I don't know, really and truly. Uh, around. Bang. Toxin. Okay, we got poisoned again. Life. Hey, <laughs> we keep finding lives in here. Heal up. All right, cool. There we go. Yep, I'm running. Bye. <laughs> Just gotta run from those things. And then the last chest, I think, in here? Triggered a fire, he sees 50 points of damage. That's actually not bad. 50 points really isn't that bad when you think about it. Of course, now I'm just gonna herb. Okay. That was easy. I think we got everything. Let's go this way. Just because I'm pretty sure there was probably a trap there, if I'm being completely honest. Let's go down the stairs right here. Because why not? Ah. Oh, I took too many steps. Dang it. Oh, well. It's fine. Okay. Down through these stairs. Interesting. You know what? I will heal up Bo real quick just to be on the safe side. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I think I want this. Triggered a boom. Uh-oh. So Ryu just fainted. <laughs> because of the trap. Okay, let, let's let's get him back up. That was uh That was definitely something, wasn't it? We got headgear out of it. Let's see, can we actually use the headgear? Is the headgear even useful? Headgear is quite useful, actually. It's better for you. And then you... Nope, okay, that's actually worse. Okay. 
All right, cool. That was simple. <laughs> it's a good thing we have a way to take care of those type of traps, just because, like, you know... The exploding trap, or, like, the traps that can just cause you to just die instantly, we can just life the you back up and then just put a whole bunch of herbs back in you and restore you, so... It's not like it's a big major deal, but it still kind of sucks, the fact that we had to use a life for that. But, of course, they... They do like throwing those type of traps around, too, so... Just gotta be prepared for them. Okay. We actually cannot get that, unfortunately. Eventually, we can, just not yet. Oh, hello. Uh, let's actually heal up, because I'm pretty sure this is a boss fight. Or... Oh, I was about to say, or... <laughs> just a regular fight. I didn't realize Ryu was down a little bit. Okay, that's fine. We'll restore up here in just a second. Smack. Nice. We did it. We got a cure. Okay. No need to use it. No need to use it. Alright, cool. Let's do this. There it is. Stop right there. Another intruder slipped past me, but you're not so lucky. This is... I forget his name. I spy with my little eye a boss. And of course, with Ryu, we're just gonna Thunder Dragon. But I will fortify Bo just to be on the safe side. Just because you never know. Thunder Dragon! Of course, we do like 130 damage each time, so. Alright, so Bo, you know how we're gonna do this with some frying action. Nina, let's attack up on you. Actually, I do believe that this actually affects his attack stat when he's attacking like this, because it's 130, so... Nice. So far, so good. I mean, this is literally our uh, strategy now for a while. We're Thunder Dragoning while Bo can do a little bit of damage with his... Uh, what am I doing? With his uh, frying stats, or frying spells, which is nice. And then Nina will also still Iki... Just to be on the cool spot with it, just to be safe. Th this is literally the entire strategy we're going to be going with for the at least the next like bunch part of this game. Uh, we are about to get a new party member, which unfortunately kind of sucks. <laughs> he's not that good. He's really not. <laughs> I hate saying that, but he's not that good. <laughs> um, oh, I am out. So let's just do some flaming action here because I am out of spells again. Of course, we could give him some, like, AP restoring items, but don't really need to. Burn out! Boom, 40. That's, that's my bad. Now nah, it's just the dude. Bow, physically attack. You know what? I actually will, I will attack up on you, just to be a little bit on the nice side. Thunderbolt. Oh, I got attacked by Thunderbolt. Oh! Uh, I did actually quite a bit of damage. Slam for 260 damage. Oh, Ryu, why are you so strong? Uh, does this actually cure everybody? No, it just cures one. That's what I was afraid of. Let's restore Nina real quick. Whoop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's always going to do 25 damage to us no matter what. There's 130. There's 29. Let's go ahead, because we're going to get a free turn here. So might as well cure a bow. Okay. We'll get the free heal out before... Oh, wait, that's right. I forgot. It is a little bit faster than Ryu. There we go. It got up again. Second wind. This is when things can get a little bit on the rougher side, but I'm not too worried. You're two on Ryu. Wee! All the HP back. 25, 25, 25. Yep, okay. So it's just doing 25 each. And we're doing 130. Sometimes we'll do 260 if we can slam. Okay. Cure a two on Nina. Wee! Wee! 
ブーブーブー<笑> Should be going down there we go yep should be going down pretty quick 2800 experience Bow's level 17 more HP blah 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 and that's it that's the only level up we're gonna get Ack you're only human you're not supposed to possess such power but yet we do we possess so much power you don't even know <laughs> anyways <laughs> All right, now that we're fully healed up, I just want to be safe. I'm gonna go down the stairs here. We all the chests. Okay, I don't want to screw this up because I think. Okay, do not touch the blue one until you get everything else. Icy helmet, antidote, skull hat, skull hat. Wow, we got two skull hats. Okay. So we got a couple of uh, neat things. You know what? I'm just going to wait. Now we'll grab it. Uh, what am I going to do? I can't swim. Search the area. There may be a way out. This trap is too simple. It would only catch a fool. Karn! I almost drowned looking for you! What's going on? Someone is trapped in the safe in Aria. Can you open it? I can open anything if you bring me the book from the tomb. Okay, but why don't you come with us? You guys go ahead. I'll wait here. Come on, don't wimp out. Okay, okay, come on. I'll take care of any locked doors we find. Karn joins the party. Yay! Now we have a full party. Ta-da! Alright, before we do anything else, though, we need to, like, equip him. Because I don't think he actually has any equipment on him. He's also level 12, so he's a little bit behind on levels. He does have a little bit of stuff. Let's see. Can I give him that? I can. That is better. That is better. And... Actually, that's better. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's, that's good for him for now. That's worse. That's actually better. That's even more better. Okay. Okay, anything else? Nope, okay. Nina, can you take anything? It's just slightly worse. Nina cannot take anything. Okay. And then Ryu. No. The ring. Nope. No. Oh, that's actually just as good. Well, his action goes down one. And then ring. Oh, there's a ring. Oh, it increases the attack. Oh. Okay, hold on. That increases attack by 10. 89, 70. Let's give it to Karn, actually. Oh, he cannot wield it. Is Ryu the only one that can wield that? Ryu's the only one that can take the ring. Wow, okay. We'll uh, give you the ring then. Bing. Easy enough. Alright, well, with all of our equipments and everything set up completely, uh, I do need Karn in the front. That's not what I want. Oh, well, I mean, he's going to stay in the back, but he's going to be in the front of the party for now. Also, I don't remember. Does he have any spells? He has zero spells, actually. Yeah, he has, like, no spells. He's He's got AP, so he does get some, I think, eventually. But for the most part, he's just kind of there. But all right, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. We got our fourth party member, Karn, who can open all of the locked doors. And trust me, we're going to be opening up a lot of uh, doors. But first, we have to finish up this dungeon, and then we will be proceeding back to previous areas and getting a whole lot of treasures. So, a lot of good treasures, I should say. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up as well, letting me know that you're enjoying the content. And I will catch you next time.